um, I just want to zip through three slides about the landscape in Telco and then um, uh, best and least preferred picks. So if we start with the first one here, the NBN rollouts. Um, I think the key thing here is today one in two households is on the NBN. If you fast forward to June next year, it'll be three out of four households. That's a good thing because we all know the NBN has been very bad um, in terms of the outcome and we're nearly through the worst of it is the key takeaway from that. The next 12 months will be as bad as it gets and then it will get better. Um, interestingly, fixed line NBN plans have actually stabilised now. So after three years of serious price pressure, we're actually seeing them um, plateau, which again is a good thing from the competitive landscape. Um, I guess from the negative side of things though, the competitions move from fixed into mobile and effectively uh, a good thing for consumers is that you're now getting basically double the data you did a year ago for the same price. Um, for telcos, that means you're going to see some margin pressure continue to come through. Uh, and importantly, you've got the majors on the front foot ahead of TPG's mobile launch, uh, which is likely to be in the next six months. Um, so if we uh, step right back, you can read the whole report if you want some detail. But our key picks, um, not surprisingly, Telstra. I, just, um, I think it's worth pointing out that peak to trough, the share price has dropped about 60%. If you put together all the bits of data we've got, I think um, core or sustainable EBITDA will drop about 20%. So there's a disconnect there and in my mind one of those two is wrong. Um, I think the share price is too low and that's why it's our key pick. Uh, the second story that I'd like to draw to your attention is over the wire. Um, it's our preferred small cap pick here, a small telco business to business company, uh, very cheap, uh, well run business. We think they'll have a good result and we also think that it's likely to have upside risk to earnings. Uh, heading into this uh, this reporting season, but also they have a history every 12 months or so of making well-priced acquisitions. The last one was in November last year, so uh, we'd be surprised if there's not another one in the next six to 12 months that is um, upside to our earnings. Uh, Superloop, just wanted to make a comment. It is one of our um, preferred picks as well there. We think you should see some sales traction, particularly in Singapore, and some progress with the big air integration, which will help um, take costs out of this business. Uh, just worth pointing out that there is a new CEO there. And clearly it's naive to think with a new CEO change uh, there won't be some changes but I want to point out that he is associated with the founder Bevan Slattery um, so I don't think you'll see anything too drastic there. And then the fourth stock I wanted to draw to your attention is Speedcast which we have had on a hold for about 12 months. We've upgraded that to an ad today. Um, three things really running in its favour. Basically, um, you've got an oil and gas recovery. Oil and gas is its biggest revenue stream. Secondly, currency in its favour. Uh, effectively, every one cent higher US dollar adds about 1% to the Aussie dollar valuation uh, and global growth is heading pretty um, well and that's a positive for Speedcast. And then just wrapping it up, our least preferred uh, Vocus Group. You've basically got almost everyone in that business new now. Heading into that result, I suspect there's a reasonable chance of another billion dollar write down to this year's numbers. Uh, and then I think, you know, with a new CEO who's a complete outsider, there's a reasonably high chance that they set expectations low for FY19. So not expecting much there. Uh, and TPG, I know it's one a few people have got quite familiar with, but I do think there's still quite a lot of uh, risk around that business in terms of the capex associated with its mobile rollout. Um, particularly if they want to buy some 5G spectrum towards the end of this year. Uh, I think they'll probably need some more capital. Four key picks, Telstra over the wire, Superloop, Speedcast and Vocus and TPG are our least preferred. Thank you.